Triana Brown, Oklahoma. Our fifth contestant to make it to the next round is Oklahoma. All right, here you are. You made it. Who was the last person you texted before you went out on live stage? It was definitely my mother. Mom, I hope you are so proud we made it. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Oklahoma. Hi, Mom. Oklahoma. Yes. Oklahoma was training for the 2020 Olympics before deciding to come here, and I am so happy she came to grace us with this walk. Spot in the top ten is Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Throughout my life, I was bullied for being too black for the white kids and too white for the black kids. I was even told once to go back to my country. It must be hard for some people to live with that much hate in their hearts. So instead of feeling sorry for myself, I decided to bridge the divide. Chickasha Saya. I am Chickasaw, African American and Caucasian. I am a representation of our great multicultural nation and a descendant of the people of the world. Wow, wow, wow. I just fall more and more in love with these women as the night goes on. I think it's safe to say you guys will have an incredible Miss USA with any one of these top no ten. Doubt about it. All I know is if I'm ever stuck, stuck in the Everglades, I hope Miss Florida is there to protect me. <laughs> Wrangling snakes and fighting gators. Triana Brown, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, just beautiful, graceful. She actually intentionally picked this color because she said it reminded her of her ancestors. Lovely. Our fourth finalist is Oklahoma, please join me, center stage. All right, Oklahoma, your question comes from North Dakota. Hey, girl, congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Voting is an American right, yet only two states currently allow their prison populations to vote. Do you believe that incarcerated should be allowed to participate in our elections? Well, when it comes down to this situation, I definitely definitely believe that if you're a law-abiding citizen, then you have every right to vote. However, if you do anything that breaks the law, then you should be held accountable until you are released and serve your time. Thank you, Oklahoma. Please remove Oklahoma's headphones. Oklahoma, please come join us. All right, Oklahoma, here is your question. Millennials are often labeled as entitled, but they've also been called one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? Diverse. We are a nation. We are a nation of diverse, a multicultural nation, which gives us the ability to view life from a completely different lens. At one point, my father, who is Caucasian, and my mother, who is African American, would not have been able to be together. But I'm here standing today as a multicultural Chickasaw African American Caucasian woman, along with my peers able to view life from a beautiful, beautiful lens, and that is what a Miss USA represents as a diverse woman. 
Thank you, Oklahoma. I think God you can read my mind. Just when you look at me with those eyes. Oh, I'm speechless. Staring at you, standing there in that place. What is doing to me in a secret? Cause watching you is all. Give it up again for our top three finalists. One of these outstanding women will take home the title tonight and step into the role of a lifetime. And now, the second runner-up for Miss USA is... Oklahoma! Oklahoma!